in 2006, I graduated from university with a GPA of 2.7. As I walked down the stairs, a scroll in my hand, I said to myself, I'm never going to do this again. I'm never going to touch a textbook again. I'm so done with school. Don't get me wrong. I had a great time in college. The friends were great. The sports were fun. But I struggled in the classroom. And I made absolutely no excuses for that. It was entirely my fault. I couldn't cope with the intensity um, and made no effort to improve at all. Learning became a chore and a burden. So I did just enough to barely graduate. So when the day came, um, I was so firm on ending any form of schooling. I was so confident that I would never go back to school again, that I made a vow to myself that that is the end for learning ever. I have never been so wrong ever in my life. After college, I began working in the corporate world. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I enjoyed it. The colleagues were all right. But five years down the road, however, um, I fell into a routine. Every day was the same and I felt trapped. I wanted to break the monotony of the nine to five life. I needed a new challenge. So I took a step back um, and made a bold decision. Um, I wanted to face my greatest fear in life. So I decided to go back to school. This was not an, an easy decision. Um, the memories of the struggle that I had back in college was still fresh in me. Um, the late nights, the, the big exams, it was still clear in my mind. But I knew that it was the right thing to do at the time. So I went out there and applied to a few master's program and fortunately got in. Um, so learning with a rusty brain uh, was a daunting task, especially at the beginning. Um, you forget stuff. I got lost in the conversation. But over time, I got the hang of it. Um, learning is a bit different when you're a bit mature and you have some experience, um, especially when you finally understand what's going on. So I could make sense of what's going on on the blackboard. I could engage in conversations with the faculty. I could debate and argue with my classmates. Um, no matter how different our ideas were. So at the tender age of 32, I finally found the joy of learning. So two years later, after a lot of blood, sweat and tears, a lot of tears, um, I managed to complete the program. I felt relieved, but strangely, I felt empty as well. Um, I didn't know with what to do with the time that I suddenly have. I was, living, I was leading such a busy life, with all the assignments must do, and suddenly I have all this time in my hand that I didn't know what to do with. So I did what any person in the right mind would do in such a situation and applied for another master's program. So this story was from about five years ago. Um, today, I'm in the middle of my third postgraduate program. I'm currently pursuing a doctorate um, and I'm doing research on organizational learning. Now, from, from someone who absolutely hated learning, um, I fell in love and I couldn't get enough of it. Um, from someone who wanted nothing to do with learning, I became a lifelong learner. So I learned three things from this experience. Number one, never discount yourself. When I made the vow to never go back to school on the day of my graduation, it was purely based on my immediate experience at the time. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I was influenced with the situation, but I was limiting myself with zero knowledge of what the future holds. I underestimated myself very, very early. So number one, never discount yourself. Secondly, 
The more you know, the more you don't know. Learning has taught me about cultivating curiosity. And I firmly believe that curiosity is the seed of creativity and innovation. Um, knowing what I know is little compared to what's available out there is a humbling experience. And it's a constant reminder of how small I am. So it keeps me on my toes and, and make me see others as always knowing more than I do. And that has been very helpful for me. So number two, the more you know, the more you don't know. Number three, learning never stops. Being an, an, a lifelong learner um, has enabled me to shift my mindset from someone who's so stuck with a fixed mindset um, I grew to somebody who has a growth mindset. Um, I, I'm, I'm always on a curious mode. I'm always on a learning mode. Um, I'm all constantly trying to achieve growth. I try to take risks. I try to embrace failure a bit more than I used to. And basically, I just tried out new things. So there's no end to the journey. And I believe acknowledging and realizing that is the first step and has been a huge revelation to me. So number one, never discount yourself. Number two, the more you know, the more you don't know. And number three, learning never stops. This is what I've learned as a lifelong learner. Now, just a short story that I would like to share. Not too long ago, I read about this man, Michael Nicholson of Kalamazoo, Michigan. He was 71 years old and he was working on his 29th degree and counting. This is nowhere to what I'm trying to achieve. I have absolutely no plan to go beyond what I'm doing now, at least for now. But his simple advice rings true to me until today and it's a very simple advice don't quit too soon